What's up, guys? It's Jane Day Exotics, and welcome back. Shake my hand. How are you doing today? Hopefully, you're doing well. Today, we're going to be talking about Vietnamese mossy frog care and how to successfully keep them in captivity. So, without any further ado, let's jump into it. Hey, before we begin, it's my birthday today, so make sure you smash that subscribe button for a birthday gift. I'll also post my channel link right around here for you guys to watch more content if you'd like. Thank you. When you look at Vietnamese mossy frogs, you can quickly tell where they get their names from. These nocturnal frogs have extremely bumpy skin that resembles clumps of moss, and they spend most of their time pretending to be just that. Even their eyes are an amazing green pattern. Their scientific name is Thelodoma corticale, and all frogs in the Thelodoma genus are known for extremely bumpy skin. Vietnamese mossy frogs, as you could have guessed, are from northern Vietnam, but they can also be found in southern regions of China. They reside in the rainforest, spending their lives in stream embankments, flooded caves, under tree roots exposed by the river, and underneath rocks and plant matter. They are a semi-aquatic frog, but during the day they spend most of their time in the water. Mossy frogs are a relatively large frog, with females reaching 3.5 inches in length, while males only reach about 2.5 to 3 inches in length. With these frogs being so large, an 18 by 18 by 24 front opening tank is recommended. I have my frogs in a bioactive setup with dwarf light isopods and springtails. Because mossy frogs are very active at night, and they're rather destructive to delicate plants, I only have several golden pothos plants in my enclosure, along with java moss growing on the drip wall. Golden pothos is hardy, and it can handle these frogs climbing on it. It's important to supply constant access to tannin-rich water for these frogs. Water too clean and water too dirty can be harmful for the species. Because of their constant need for a water supply, I've incorporated a built-in water portion along with the drip wall in my tank. A setup like this is easier, because it ensures that they always have a water access, and it also helps keep the humidity high in the tank. This species requires a high humidity level between 70 and 100% at all times, and it needs a temperature range between 50 and 78 degrees Fahrenheit. These frogs love colder temperatures, and anything that exceeds 80 degrees Fahrenheit is extremely dangerous and can be fatal for these guys. I aim to keep my tank between the mid-60s and 70 degrees Fahrenheit. The species of frog may seem bold with how active they are at night, but they are actually really shy and don't tolerate handling well at all. When this species is threatened, they will play dead, curling their bodies into a ball. They can also shoot a stream of urine at you with precision. Because they like to be left alone, I feed my mossy frogs a diet of vitamin and calcium dust at dubia roaches and crickets, and I do not attempt to handle them or tongue feed them. Instead, I just watch them climb around in their tanks and call to one another during the night. They have a unique, beautiful chirping and hooting call, and sometimes I actually attempt to imitate their call just to get them going. Mossy frogs also do great in groups, as long as you have room for multiple frogs. While I haven't actually pursued the breed this species, I'm going to be keeping an eye out for a female at the next expo we attend. It would be nice to see if we have success breeding them. As far as breeding goes, it can be a hit or a miss. If they do happen to breed, they will lay their eggs on branches and leaves above the water. Once the eggs hatch, the tadpoles will drop into the water. You're going to need to set up grow cups for the tadpoles, and keep them at a slight angle, that way when the tadpoles start to develop legs, they can climb out. You're going to want to raise your tadpoles at the same temperatures that you raise your frogs at. You can supply leaves like Indian almond leaves to keep the tannins up in the water. You can find and purchase various types of tadpole food online. The lifespan of Vietnamese mossy frogs isn't well known. They say that the lifespan is 5 years old, but then there's reports from zoos saying that they live 10 to 15 years old. The two that we own are 5 years old right now, and they certainly don't show any signs of stopping. So there you guys have it. That's our Vietnamese mossy frog care guide. As always, I highly recommend you guys go out and do your own research. These guys are slightly more difficult to take care of than most frogs, and just because of that, they might not be the best pet choice for most. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys want to subscribe to the channel, I'll post my channel right here. And if you guys just want to go and watch more content, I'll post that right here. Thank you again.